Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin you have come to the right place as you listen to the bright side every day you are more and more in control of your body you are more and more knowledgeable and you know you can overcome any health challenge that is why we are here every day on the bright side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, a health challenge you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog posts and news stories as well as all the longevity products. You can also call the Brightside side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If you're a business person, if you're entrepreneurially minded, if you want to start a business and you're tired of punching a clock and dealing with the nine to five kind of thing, you want to make your own hours, make your own schedule and earn your own money. 866-735-2470 is the Brightside Ben phone team phone number, and I encourage you to give them a call. They can tell you all about starting a longevity business on your own. 866-735-2470 is their number. And, of course, if you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel, as well as our Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 healing cream if you're dealing with sunburn or rashes or eczema or, or any kind of irritated skin or if you just want a multi-purpose moisturizer that also functions as first aid you want our truth omega-6 healing cream which i first developed for plastic surgeons and burn victims you could find out all about it at truthtreatments.com never any preservatives fragrances fillers waxes water oil silicon nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth skin health products Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're talking about the connective tissue. We're talking about the extra cellular matrix, the jelly substance that sits around all the cells that provides the, in, the milieu. In order to create anything, you have to have the appropriate milieu. You have to have the appropriate environment. You have to the, have the appropriate terrain, for better or worse, in, when it comes to health or disease. If we are not as healthy as we want to be, guaranteed the environment, the milieu that the cell is sitting in is toxic. And if we're healthy, then you got a clean milieu. Health is about the milieu the environment, the terrain. And this is the biggest mistake we make, uh, uh, the medical model makes, and we make as patients when it comes to our health challenges. We're always focusing on what we can see and what we can feel, and we want to get rid of it. If we're sick, understandably, we just want to get rid of the pain. We just want to have something cure our illness. We don't understand or we don't take advantage of the fact that our illness starts off at a ground level, just like a tree or just like leaves start off at the soil level. The soil, the root, the terrain, this is where the health of the body is shaped. When we perceive a health challenge, we are perceiving the fruit. We're perceiving the end result. And while this seems obvious, of course, we know it starts somewhere. We still spend trillions of dollars a year as a country on mostly futile attempts to change the fruit, to change the leaves of the tree. 
Sure. It makes sense that the leaves start off at the root, or even, even earlier, they start off in the soil. But still, we spent trillions of dollars in, in mostly futile healthcare strategies to try to change the leaves once they've already formed. The bright side philosophy, what we talk about here every day, is understanding the soil, understanding the ground from which our illnesses arise, and this is why we've been spending so much time on the connective tissue, which, by the way, is literally called the ground substance. That's what biologists call it. They call it the ground, the ground substance. It's, from, it's the point from which everything in the body arises, all, A-L-L, -L, all, chronic degenerative disease, no matter what its official name is, no matter what its official Latin diagnosis is, no matter what its official unpronounceable designation may be, whether it's mitochondrial myopathic chronic progressive degenerative ophthalmoplegia. That's what some lady wrote me a letter. I got a letter a couple weeks ago. She has mitochondrial myopathic chronic progressive degenerative ophthalmoplegia. What? Yes, that's what she has. Now, all that is, is a breakdown of the body. It happens to be affecting your eyes. But it doesn't matter that it's mitochondrial myopathic chronic progressive degenerate, degenerative ophthalmoplegia. She's got a messed up eye. Her eye muscles are messed up. Why? Because the ground substance and the muscle cells in the eye is clogged and dirty and toxic. If it happened in the joints, it would be arthritis. I got another letter today. Uh, a gal, her husband has pemph pemphigus vulgaris. Pemphig Pemphigus vulgaris. That means she has common, or he has common blisters, an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune disease, once again, ground substance, clogged up extracellular matrix. Same thing that causes mitochondrial myopathic chronic progressive degenerative ophthalmoplegia. I just like saying that. Here's another one. Hydrogenitis superativa. Awful blistering condition on the skin. Hydrogenitis superativa. What? What does that mean? It doesn't matter what it means. You got a messed up extracellular matrix. You got dirty bread. You got clogged blood. It's the same thing if you had arthritis or any other degenerative disease. Amyotropic lateral sclerosis, same thing. We get all hung up on these diagnoses, uh, diagnoses and these names and these Latin designations. And the medical model loves it because it empowers them. Because we can't even pronounce the thing, let, let alone know, understand what's happening. So it empowers the power structure. Power structures are always empowered by language. That's why you can't read a contract. Try uh, Next time you apply for a credit card, try reading the stuff that you gotta, uh, that you got to sign. It's impossible. The legal profession, politics, government... The medical profession, they're empowered by languaging because we don't understand what they're talking about, so we just give up. It's, it's, it's awful with politics and with uh, the legal profession, but it's even worse when it comes to our bodies. The root of all disease, the root of all chronic degenerative disease is the extracellular matrix. That is the connective tissue. That's all you have to know the jelly substance and the fibers that surround the cells. This is the material that feeds the cells, that oxygenates the cells, that electrifies the cells, that detoxifies the cells. We always say all disease is cell disease. And all cell disease follows this clogged up extracellular matrix. And the extracellular matrix gets, gets clogged up from dirty blood. You can now fire your doctor. You can forget your diagnosis. You can take care of your own health issues. Once we understand this, Clean the blood, clean the extracellular matrix, the cells will get nourished, the cells will get oxygenated, the cells will get detoxified, period. And it doesn't matter if it is mitochondrial, myopathic, chronic progressive, degenerative ophthalmoplegia. It doesn't matter what the heck they call it. It's all the same thing. Assuming you're not smoking cigarettes, you're not drinking a lot of alcohol, you're not doing drugs, and that includes prescription drugs as well as illegal drugs. Prescription drugs are more toxic than illegal drugs for the most part. Focus on your digestion. Focus on your blood sugar. Move your body. Rest. Get on a good nutritional supplement program. Make sure you're oxygenating. That's pretty much it, folks. And once we nail this down, there will be a lot of doctors that have to go get a real job. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We will return right after this. All right, we're back 
on the bright side, I am Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Also, benfuchsarchives.com. That's... Uh, that's a compilation website with all my other websites. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. And you've got a search engine up there as well. Also have a search engine at brightsideben.com if you miss a program or want to review a topic uh, or want to... Uh, or want to show somebody or, or help somebody with a health challenge, you can search any particular topic you like at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. And of course, you could purchase you know, Javity products off of brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And you can purchase our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Okay, let's see here. Tomorrow, we're gonna, I'm going to continue talking about earthing tomorrow. I absolutely love this idea, walking barefoot. And lest you think that this is airy-fairy, silly stuff, there are all kinds of uh, peer-reviewed articles in, um, in, uh, in journals like the Journal of Inflammation Research, the Journal of Environmental and Public Health, the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine that talk about the importance of work, walking barefoot to uh, absorb the electrical energy that is emanating from the earth. The earth is pouring out electrical energy and we absorb that electrical energy through the connective tissue, through the collagen and through the extracellular matrix in our feet. And it can be a very important part of health. And we're gonna be talking about that tomorrow as we continue talking connective tissue on the bright side. The connective tissue is the, it's the ground from which all it's the ground from which our body appears. All the cells appear. All the cells are nourished and fed and electrified and oxygenated through the connective tissue, through the extracellular matrix of the connective tissue. Yesterday, we talked a little bit about fibrosis. Fib uh, fibrosis is the sine qua non, the absolute essence of the degenerative disease process. Fibrosis is how the body repairs itself. And under normal conditions, it's only supposed to happen a little bit. But over time, as the body is chronically wounded and chronically damaged and chronically malnourished, and when I say the body, I mean the cells, over time, as the cells are chronically starved and chronically oxygenate, uh, hypoxic or, or deprived of oxygen, suffocated, and chronically toxified with drugs, with prescription drugs. Yes, prescription drugs toxify the cells. This is the stupidest healing modality on planet Earth is prescription drugs. And I'm a pharmacist saying that. I know you need prescription drugs once in a while, but to chronically, to long-term be on a prescription drug is the dumbest medical strategy ever, ever. And any healthcare professional who, who practices drug therapy, that is chronically dosing and poisoning patients with drugs, what are you thinking? How can you do this to people? Anyway, when the, when the cells are toxic over the course of time, they break down, they die, they explode, they spew their contents. This is what happens when a cell dies. It explodes and it spews its enzymes and its acids and its contents into the surrounding tissue. This is a very dangerous situation. So when a cell dies, the body has to protect itself from all that death, from all, that, uh, all those death chemicals that are spewed out from this exploding cell. How does the body protect itself? It walls off the area. It walls off the area with fibers. It walls off the area with fluids. It walls off the area in a process we call inflammation. That's what inflammation is. And when we hear the word inflammation, we think of a black eye. When we hear the word inflammation, we think of a sprained ankle. When we hear the word, word inflammation, we think of the, the classic purpling and swelling that appears on our joints or on our bones or areas where we hurt ourselves. And that's true. That is inflammation. But what we don't recognize is that there's micro inflammation. There's microscopic inflammation that is the cell's version of a broken ankle. That is the cell's version of the inflammatory process that occurs when you get a black eye. And it's the same thing, except it's happening at a microscopic level. And this inflammatory process, which features fibrosis, ends up, when it happens once in a while, that's not a problem. But over the course of time, when it's chronic, it ends up clogging more and more tissue and creates more and more clogs. This is the disease process, folks. It's not complicated. And it doesn't have to have a fancy diagnosis and a fancy name so we can get put into the computer. 
and so that we can get classified and we can have a protocol or, or, or a, a, a lazy physician can give us a protocol I having to ask questions. They go right to the book. Oh, you have hydrogenitis superintiva. It says here in this book that I have to give you prednisone. It says here in this book I got to give you an antibiotic. This is what the medical model has devolved itself into. Looking, diagnosing and then looking in a book to see what kind of protocol you get. So fibrosis underlies all chronic degenerative disease. Fibrosis represents the body's attempt to repair broken down tissue, but over time, as this repair mechanism is activated over and over and over again over the course of the, the days and the weeks and the months and the years and the decades, Eventually, more and more cells get destroyed, more and more fiber gets secreted, and this is disease. If you're dealing with anything that has the word fibrosis in it, or stenosis, or sclerosis, whether it's pulmonary fibrosis, or, or, uh, or COPD, or emphysema, or, or Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease, they, call, they tell you it's amyloid plaques. Oh, now we're going to have a vaccine for amyloid plaques. Amyloid is just fiber, folks. Amyloidosis occurs everywhere in the body or anywhere in the body. It doesn't just happen to ha have to happen in the brain. Amyloidosis is a classic way the body breaks down. And if it happens in the brain, you get Alzheimer's disease or maybe Parkinson's disease. If it's a, a couple centimeters over to the left, they call it Parkinson's disease. And if it's right between Parkinson's or right between uh, the area that causes Parkinson's and the area that causes Alzheimer's, they say it's Parkinson's with dementia. It's right in between. This is the nonsense. It's craziness. And it would be, you know, it would be one thing if we could just rip on it and talk about it. But this is people's lives. This is my father. This is your parents. This is our children. Folks, we got to do something about this. When we start to understand how this thing is put together, how the disease process progresses, we will be freed from a tyranny that is the most insidious of all tyrannies. Yes, government tyranny is awful. I understand this. There's tyranny. The idea that we ta have our power taken away from us manifests itself in all kinds of different ways. But at the level of health, it's the most insidious. So one of the most in uh, interesting things about the connective tissue is the fact that the connective tissue is linking a bunch of parts together that are not really connected. When the connective tissue is pulling the cells together and the organs and structures, there's still spaces between the cells. There's still spaces between the structures. And the spaces between the cells and the spaces between the structures of the body, while they're all linked together, they're woven together via the connective tissue, these spaces are incredibly important because these spaces are filled in with a type of biological grout and this biological grout is made up of jelly and it's this jelly that is really the major determining factor in the health of the connective tissue and ultimately the health of the body this jelly material that that is that, uh, fills in the spaces between cells that fills in the spaces between structures of the body is called the extracellular that is outside the cell extracellular matrix and this is the prime determinant this extracellular uh, matrix, this jelly substance, is the prime determinant of the health of the connective tissue and the health of the body as a whole. And understanding how to build the uh, extracellular matrix, how to clean the extracellular matrix, and how to sustain and nourish the extra extracellular matrix is the ultimate strategy for helping heal the body, preventing disease in the first place. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll return right after this. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about anything we're speaking here today, about uh, the connective tissue, extra extracellular matrix, anti-aging strategies, of course, the connective tissue and uh, the extracellular matrix play a major role in skin aging and beauty. And everything, everything that has to do with health is going to have some aspect is going to uh, involve some aspect of the extracellular matrix and collagen and fibrosis and the connective tissue in general. 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang on. If you're on hold, we'll get to you in just a minute. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, our connective tissue driving 
tr uh, True Skin Health products. That's really what the, uh, my True Skin Health products are about. They're about the connective tissue. They're about driving the production of collagen as well as the extracellular matrix in the skin. That's how you treat your skin. If you're, if you're interested in topically in, uh, addressing skin health issues topically using products, you have to have some uh, ingredient that will drive the production of connective tissue. And there's only a couple of them, vitamin A and vitamin C. And you have to have some mechanism for driving that vitamin or pushing that vitamin A and vitamin C into the uh, into the lower levels where the fibroblasts, the connective tissue making cells live. And that's why I created my Truth Skin Health products, retinol 5% gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all designed to drive the production of connective tissue, collagen, hyaluronic acid, and all of the other, all of the other substances in the extracellular matrix. If you're interested in learning more, please head to truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, let's see here. From the journal Neurology, common structure and toxic function of amyloid oligomers implies a common mechanism of disease. That means amyloid, which is fiber, as we've been talking about, is found in Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, type 2 diabetes, uh, sporadic inclusion body myositis, which is another connective tissue diseases. Quote, in most of these diseases, the end products that accumulate are amyloid fibers, unquote. Fibrosis, folks, is what we're talking about. And fibrosis always precedes a breakdown of some kind. So the way you deal with fibrosis, the, day, the way you deal with amyloid plaques, if you've got issues or you know somebody who's got issues with dementia, is you stop putting the stuff in the body that causes a breakdown of the extracellular matrix, primarily sugar and digestive toxins. If you just do those two things, if you just work on your digestive system and you eliminate or at least reduce the in, your intake of sugar and then use supplements that patch up the digestive system, i.e. probiotics, hyaluronic acid, glutamine powder, uh, digestive enzymes, lecithin, bile salts, apple cider vinegar, aloe vera, and you stabilize the blood sugar by reducing your intake of sugar and using the B-complex, niacin, thiamine, selenium, your sweeties from longevity. No matter what your health challenge is, you will go a long way, a long way to reducing its impact and even perhaps eliminating it. Okay. 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to the phone. Sergi in California. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side. Sergi. Hi. Sergi. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, we, we love to listen to you about uh, eight, seven months and uh, see you first with the, on the InfoWars. But I call in behalf of my wife right now. Yes, sir. Um, we are six months on the on longevity product. She's okay. trying to get off of the uh, gluten, and completely, I guess, we get about a month and minute, month and a half. But she doesn't have, she doesn't have gallbladder, no appendix, I... no, no kidney, no, one kidney. Oh, and my goodness. After, uh, maybe six months ago, she, uh, her friends advised to make clean, cleansing a program with Dr. Clark. It's green, black, walnut, wormwood clover and after eight, 18 months she got uh, allergy big allergy on the skin uh, and uh, just a redness if she eats something uh, like okay four, okay four and tiny nuts anything uh, but let me help you out let me help okay go ahead yeah. i'm sorry go, go ahead and what was the worst thing worst thing is now she has uh, she had before a few spots red spots on the body but now above the eye and okay. this get, getting bigger and even swollen. And How old is your wife? Uh, she's uh, 59. Okay. You're going all over the place here, Sergi. We got to simplify, okay? This is how you, when you have a complex issue like this, no gallbladder, no appendix, one kidney, rashes all over the body, you've got a complicated issue. So you always want to simplify. I like Holda Clark. You're talking about Holda Clark, I assume, right? The cure for all diseases. Is that what you're talking about? Holda? H-U-L-D-A, yeah. Holda, okay. Yeah, so for the listeners, she wrote a book, Holda Clark wrote a book uh, called The Cure for All Diseases, and, and she's on the right track, but it's still, wormwood is a very toxic substance. 
You know, yeah, I'm, yeah. I like I like working with herbs. I'm an herbalist in, of sorts. I used to pick herbs all the time, and I com- I, I had a, I tinctured them in my pharmacy, in my compounding pharmacy. I had a whole stack, a, a whole shelf filled with various bottles of herbs. And I'm, I'm a big believer in herbal medicine, but the problem is herbs are medicine. Right. They're drugs. They're not as potent as prescription drugs, but they still require purification. And you, uh, why would you detoxify by putting more toxins in the body? You know what I'm saying, Sergio? You want to detoxify, yeah. and, you, and you put wormwood in the body, and that's a toxin. So to detoxify, I got a big problem with detoxification with herbs. The best way to detoxify is to stop putting the toxins in the system, and that means fasting. Because digestive toxicity is the most important form of toxicity. I'm including sugar in that. So the best thing to do, she's without an appendix and without a gallbladder, she's seriously compromised. The gallbladder helps her body process fats and extract fatty substances from foods. And the appendix, which they used to tell you is meaningless and useless, is a storehouse for good bacteria. So without an appendix, without a gallbladder, she's majorly compromised. Now, why did she lose a kidney? Does she have diabetes too? Uh, infection. Stone in kidney, it was... Stones. Back, okay, so they took a kidney out. Was this back in Russia or was it here? Where did they take the kidney out? Back in, yeah, back in Russia. Okay, so here's the thing about the kidney. The, the kidney got stones in it because the blood is toxic. The gallbladder remo- was removed because the blood was toxic. The appendix was taken out because the blood was toxic. Do you hear what happened? Right. Do you hear the, the common thread here? The blood's toxic. Toxic. So we got to clean the blood. You're not alone, Sergi, or your wife's not alone. So we got to clean the blood. First things first, fast for three days. And this is not an option for you, Sergi, if you're ser- or your wife is serious. She's got to stop eating for three days. Do a Swero V cleanse if you can't do a total fast. Get Swero V by calling 1 866 735 2470. Tell them you want a couple six packs of Swero V and do half a bottle of Swero V every hour for three days or fast for three days. When she starts eating again, this is at the age of 59 with all of these things going wrong, she's got no option. She has to fast for three days and she has to do a food diary and eliminate problem foods. It will kill her. The rashes are a sign that something is getting in the blood chronically and consistently. You've got to figure what that uh, out what that is. So that means a food diary. You eat one kind of food all day, and you see how you react. You keep notes, and you start to uh, develop a, 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 uh, information, data, on what kind of foods are problematic, and then you're going to eliminate those foods. After that, after, she, after she's eliminated foods and she starts eating again, she finds some foods she could eat. You want to be doing fermented foods, sauerkraut, miso, borscht, uh, tempeh, anything fermented. Make your own fermented vegetables. Get a book called The Art of Fermentation and make your own fermented vegetables and live on them. Do vegetable juices. Live on vegetable juices. Make sure she's getting enough fiber. She's got to be regular. She's probably got a problem with diarrhea or loose stools without a gallbladder. So you, you no. want to make... Is she constipated? One or the other? No, it's normal. What, well, that can't be normal without a gallbladder and appendix. Hang on. We'll finish up, Serge. you got to take a break, so stay with us. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We will return right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side, Serge in California. So uh, here's the thing, my friend. You notice I didn't even mention the skin. You notice that, Sergey? We didn't even talk about the skin. I didn't say rub a cream on her skin. I didn't say use a special soap on her skin. Or It's not a skin problem. The skin is secondary to the digestive system always. And I've been in the skincare business now for 35 years, creating topical skincare right. products. And I got to tell you, as much as I want to say just rub this cream on, that's not what the problem is. She's good. She doesn't have a gallbladder. She doesn't. Your wife doesn't have a gallbladder or an appendix. Guaranteed she's got a digestive health crisis going on. The stones that cause her kidney to be removed are likely the same thing. Whenever there's a digestive health crisis or health challenge, that's going to end up causing the blood to be cl- to become clogged and dirty. Once the blood is, becomes clogged and dirty, as I'm sure you know if you've listened to this program, <clears throat> excuse me, we're off to the yeah. disease races. Clean the blood. Start off with a fast, two or three days, or a swear of V cleanse if she can't do a fast. And then once she starts eating again, have her, uh, have her uh, paying very close attention to how her body responds to certain foods. She's got to have either loose stools or diarrhea. I'm guessing loose stools. Without a gallbladder, it's impossible not to have some kind of a, a bowel problem. Gas, heartburn, bloating. Link those up to foods and then eliminate the foods that are associated with those kinds of issues. Uh, then you're going to patch up the gut. 
probiotics and fermented foods, vegetable uh, juices, get a Vitamix and do vegetable juices, which do double, uh, well, they do a lot of things, but a couple of things they do for the digestive system is number one, uh, they provide you with fiber, and fiber not only keeps you regular, but fiber also feeds the good bacteria. So when you're doing your, your fermented foods, uh, the fiber th that you get from vegetable juices and the fiber in the vegetables from your fermented vegetables will help support the bacteria. Also, uh, vegetable juices can have a nice filling effect that will keep you from overeating and of course you'll also get all the nutrients in the vegetables chicken soup lots of homemade chicken soup bone broth yeah. protein you can find that at brightside uh, brightsideproducts.com i think it is I, I gotta i don't even know my own website there just at google bone broth protein or you can get bone broth protein anywhere uh, yeah. brights yeah. uh, where you can get it at, the, at any health food store uh, also high aluronic acid aloe vera Get the Fucoid Z from Longevity. Make sure she's doing apple cider, apple cider vinegar with all your meals, and then also digestive enzymes. I hope I hope I helped you. Do you have any other questions, Sergi? Where, where aloe vera is better to buy? Aloe, just get uh, just get uh, organic if you can find organic aloe vera gel, and you can find it at any health food store. Just aloe vera. Don't have a lot of you don't want a beverage with aloe vera. Just straight aloe vera is the yeah. best way to do it. Or noni, which you can find off of uh, from Longevity okay. as well. All right, Sergi, I got to move. I hope I helped you out, my friend. Yeah? Thank you very much. Is, is Thank you. No, you don't suggest any topical for No, I mean, you could use zinc oxide and maybe give you some relief or maybe uh, my uh, Truth Omega-6 healing cream, but it's not a topical issue. And the thing right. is, if you don't address it at the inside, she's, you, your poor wife is going to just keep breaking down. And she's 59. She's young. Right. She's got another 40 years if yeah. she does this right. You know? Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. I got to go. So, much, God bless you, my friend. Dos vidonia. Yeah, God bless you. We, we Take, love to listen to you. Thank you, Sergi. Take care, bro. All right, let's go to uh, do, 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 let's go to Doug in California. Good morning, Doug. What's up, man? Hey, how are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? Where in California are you? Uh, Salinas. I attended a couple of your seminars around here, which were great. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's, What's going that on? That goes. That goes back three, four, five years. Hey, my question is: um, the back of my hands, where I stick them in my pocket are always just bruised beyond belief. Okay. That's the connective tissue, my friend. That's a sign of general breakdown. So what you want, you want to start building the connective tissue. And again, for the, you want to, whenever you're building the body, you want to do it from two directions. You want to eliminate the bad stuff and put in the good stuff. Eliminating the bad stuff means sugar and digestive toxicity. That means patching up the gut and stabilizing the sugar. Now, as far as building the connective tissue goes, there's lots of things you could do. Uh, I, you might want to uh, review what I just said to Sergey because a lot of what we talked about has, has some building, uh, is, involves building the connective tissue. But in addition, you want to make sure that you're doing enough protein, building proteins, whey protein or bone broth protein or ideally both you might also from eggs uh, eggs are awesome absolutely eggs are a power food make sure you, you uh, as long as you don't have allergies right there yeah my breakfast usually consists of two or three scrambled eggs um Scrambling is not the scrambling is not the best way to get your to do your eggs uh, because of the cooking. Raw eggs are the best, or soft boiled, uh, or poached. You don't want to overcook your eggs, and if you're no, scrambling no, them, stand okay. No poached. I can do. I can do poached. Poacher, just crack a raw egg into some bone broth. Go get yourself. My, get my bone broth protein. Get some organic frozen strawberries or frozen cherries get some uh, uh, a good oil like Udo's blend oil and then some coconut oil as well and crack a raw egg in there it is and then use almond milk uh, unsweetened cocoa almond milk uh, and then a little bit of water it is the most unbelievably delicious milkshake you'll ever it's not a milkshake but but smoothie that you'll ever have and it's got a raw egg in there you won't even taste the raw egg it'll just make it creamy and it's got the protein in there and it's got you'll get all the nutrients from the egg and you'll get the, the essential fats, which are also, by the way, important for building connective tissue. Uh, let me give you a couple more ideas because I want to get to some more calls, Doug. Zinc is stupendously important for connective tissue building. We're going to be talking about that in the coming days. Sulfur, MSM sulfur, also very important for building connective tissue. And then I would be doing lots of vitamin C. Don't underestimate the power, uh, the no, unbelievable power C, of vitamin C. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? 
Ascorbic like acid. Yes, yes. You don't need anything fancy. Ascorbic acid, use the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, which has got a, a good dose of it, or just get straight vitamin C and sip on it. You can't build connective tissue without vitamin C. And even though we like talking about hyaluronic acid and zinc and sulfur and all these other more exotic kinds of strategies, vitamin C, plain old vitamin C, humble little vitamin C, is okay. a major player in the building of connective tissue. And if you have bruising, that means the blood vessels are starting to break down. The blood vessels are made up of connective tissue. So building that connective tissue, building up the I blood vessels. I take around 2,000. Uh, Good. Good. Does it give you any loose stools or any bloating or no, discomfort? No, no, huh? Good. Good. You One try taking, question I try need taking, to ask you. Try taking three grams. See what happens. Okay. I can do that. Um, okay. What else? I started taking uh, an ounce of flaxseed oil a day. Mm, that's a bit, but it shouldn't hurt you any. Make sure you use vitamin E with it. Always do vitamin E with your flaxseed yeah, oil. Okay, well, no, I'll tell you, what that did to my hands and fingers is yeah? unbelievable. In a good way. Yes. That, that's, I'm not surprised. I'm a big fan of flaxseed oil. I like Udo's blend, personally. Hey, Doug, I want to get a couple more calls in, buddy. Okay, okay I'm, hey, I'm going to let you go. Thank you good. very much. And God listen, bless you. Bless your bones. Thank you so much, Doug. Take care, man. All right, Rodney in Texas, good morning. What's up? Yeah, uh, I uh, wanted to know if you could repeat that 866 number that you mentioned yep. to uh, the Sergio you, out in California. Because uh, uh, I would like to order a couple of those uh, Here products. you go. And, and, and also, could you give an overview, in your opinion, of this sub that well, it's a prescription drug that doctors uh, give to people who who have issues with uh, focusing. Uh, see a lot of articles about how it's uh, misused. Which drug? Are you talking about Adderall? I, I, Adderall, Is it Adderall. 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 And what, yeah, I, I what I would like to know if you could recommend a a, a supplement that's much better and not as addictive as uh, Adderall. Well, I'll recommend a supplement that's not at all addictive. Uh, a couple of them. Uh, Adderall is used for focusing. It's speed. That's, it's a, a glorified form of speed. Um, uh, and it is addicting, and it's just it's a, not a nice drug. Uh, I recommend the B vitamins, especially thiamine. This is particularly for kids, by the way. The B vitamins, especially thiamine, and then also essential fatty acids, uh, omega-3, both omega-3 and omega-6 essential fatty acids. That's like both of those function like a natural Adderall. Uh, as far as... Uh, uh, the phone number goes 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. That's the phone number. Is it yeah, anything else, Rodney? I want to see if I can get another call in here. Uh, just one last thing regarding uh, you, you mentioned uh, shark cartilage and yes. sea cucumber. Can you mention the benefits of those? Two oh stuff? man, sea cucumber! I don't have a, I don't have enough time to tell you all the benefits. Shark sharks are are cartilaginous animals. Like 80 percent or 90 percent of a shark is cartilage. And cartilage is unbelievably important for building the connective tissue. Cartilage also has very powerful immune-boosting properties. And this is an interesting subject that we're going to be talking about, how eating connective tissue, eating collagen can have tremendous benefits for supporting immunity and for folks who are dealing with autoimmune diseases as well. Uh, sea cucumber is really fascinating stuff too. Uh, sea cucumber is made, uh, sea cucumber is an animal. It's not a cucumber, it's an animal. And uh, sea cucumbers can contain lots of cartilaginous, cartilaginous material that, like the sharks, can help stimulate immunity and help strengthen the body. And I wish I had more time, but that's it. And I'm sorry if I left you on hold. I tried to get to everybody today. Thanks so much for listening to The Bright Side, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com if you're interested in uh, checking out our longevity products. And then also truthtreatments.com, our truth retinol 5% gel, truth serum, truth balm, and truth omega-6 healing cream. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome Awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.